Right, take a look. I was born in Chicago. My parents were really young, and so all they could afford was like a little apartment. And my dad wanted a better life for us, so he worked three jobs, and he moved us to Hoffman Estates, Illinois. I moved there in the middle of Roots, right when Kunta Kinte got his foot cut off. So I think there were like three black people, my sister, me, and the janitor that cleaned the school. <laughs> two sisters. I'm the oldest. I'm very close to them. I'm very proud of them because we lost our mom uh, when we were really young. And so we were kind of raising ourselves. My father wanted to be a stand-up comic. And then he uh, ended up getting a girl pregnant. Here I am. And uh, so, you know, that kind of got derailed. But I get to do it for him. I was a legal secretary. I was working at this law firm in Beverly Hills. And a bunch of us decided to have a night out on the town. We decided to go to the comedy store because they had an early show. And then Andrew Dice Clay got on the stage and he made a lot of the women mad. And they kept leaning back to me and they kept saying, Sherry, you're, you should do that. I went to this club in West Hollywood and I went on stage and I won $100 and it was really like having an orgasm. I don't even need to have sex, I just go to a comedy club. When I quit my job, when I finally made that leap of faith, it was the scariest thing for me. And somebody said to me one day, if it was all about stability, you would need faith. And so I said a prayer and I gave notice. I think about 15 days later, I booked my very first series regular on a sitcom. This is what I call myself on the shows. People who don't know who Sherry Shepard is, I'm the black girl on all the white shows. So if you see a black girl with a bunch of white people, it probably is me. I had done a guest star on Friends, and the check was late, so I had to go back to the law firm. And it was a law firm where David Schwimmer's father worked. You talking about depressing? Because all the secretaries would always go by and go, why don't you tell Mr. Schwimmer that you were on his son's show? And I was like, well, why don't you shut up and go make some coffee for the other lawyers and stay out of my business? Then I did a guest star on Suddenly Susan with Brooke Shields, and they called me back to be a series regular. I said, okay, I want to buy a house. This is a show with Brooke Shields. It's not going anywhere. I went and I, I put an offer down on a home, and Brooke Shields came to me and she said, Sherry, I have something to tell you. They are canceling the show. And I remember feeling like Florida Evans in good times. I was just like, damn, damn, damn. I play Sergeant Judy on Everybody Loves Raymond. I love that show. But they had the best craft service in the world. And we were always eating. So to the people on The View, Miss Walters, a happy panel table full of women are women that are fed. Less Than Perfect was a show that I was on. It was the very first sitcom that I had done that had lasted any length of time where I didn't have to go back to being a legal secretary. It lasted four years. I love being a mother. Children just love. And so to see my son and the miracle that he is when he runs around and he stands on the table, he's really made me complete in a way that I didn't think that I would ever be. My status with my husband, we're now separated. I came on The View and I talked about the fact that I found out that my husband had had an affair. When you have that kind of betrayal, it's really indescribable, especially when it's an affair and the girl had a son. We will always be friends, Jeff and I. Sometimes you need distance and, and space, so right now, that's what it is. I've never been on a show with 